Mr. Herman Cain is surprising me. I thought that uh, he would have been dismissed early being an uneducated man. But quite recently, he was able to shake up the field. Uh, Rick Perry from Texas, the governor, um, trailed him. And uh, this is remarkable. Of course, anything that is done in public, um, discrimination can't really feature prominently. Now, the straw poll, of course, was something secret, but it was in reaction to a public display. I still don't believe that this means necessarily that he has the candidacy or he could be the uh, candidate for president. Um, it's, it's nevertheless instructive and it's uh, essential. Maybe, um, maybe we would make it because it looks as if things are coming to a head and that uh, in this term here, things could be very, very uh, dangerous and maybe the either Republican or Democrat would be a black and that would be good enough to uh, pin the whole um, miasma on. However, I still think that it's too early in the race to count him in. I think that uh, what um, the New York Juli uh, Governor Giuliani has said that um, the party will never elect a, a black candidate, I, I still think it's important. And I think it's a, a reasonable assessment of the state of the Republican Party. Um, so uh, I think that they're just trying to be polite to Mr. Kane. And uh, if he wants to take it that they're interested in another George Bush, um, then, you know, it's up to him. Because I can imagine him becoming president and uh, can't fathom those big issues. I mean, yeah, he's a grown man, he runs a business, but these things call for knowledge. And, uh, you know, in the Middle East there, for example, Afghan and um, Iraq, uh, it don't seem as though George, President George Bush had any understanding of the culture and the people and so on, or any understanding of the region, because people reminded him that nobody goes into Afghanistan and wins. Uh, and he said, oh no, we it's going to be air campaign. But people said, you have to go in and control what you, you know, garnered by the air campaign. He said, no, uh, just, you know, run it off like that. Uh, you got to remember that, of course, um, Afghan and um, Iraq were parts of uh, central part of former empires, the Babylonian Empire perhaps, and also the Medo Persian. Uh, we're not sure how it really uh, operated, but um, it, it is proven that uh, it's beyond his understanding. And um, it brought the world almost to a collapse. So if he gets in and, um, you know, to start all this new thing game with some kind of crazy stuff. I think he's going to go for it because he doesn't have that kind of education, and education is important. So I think that he should excuse himself because uh, the issues are so profound and so critical and so um, consequential that unless you have a sterling education, you should just disqualify yourself because the advisor is going to make rings around you, and the people that the advisor is working for are going to get their objectives. And we know that the new world order is on the horizon. They're trying to, you know, come up present and take over things. And he'll be the good guy to them to grab it from. So while he's having measured success, I still think that he shouldn't really run for president because he doesn't have what it takes. I mean, this is my honest opinion. Forget race. You got to have somebody in there who's qualified, who has a sterling education, who understands peoples, the world, and the issues to make appropriate decisions.